Hey everyone, it's Theodore here, and this is episode 16 of 125 Days, where I am working very hard to take my skills to the Martha level, and today we are we're learning all about um, duck and quail and lots of gamey birds, which was crazy. It actually is so funny. It reminds me of my dog Baxter because he's totally, he's um, a rescue, so we're not sure of his breed, but he loves like birds and loves like bird toys. And it's just so funny the whole day, all I could think of is like if I actually took Baxter quail hunting and what that would look like. So funny. Anyway, made my first quail, which was really funny because they're so small. They are so small. We had to fill them with um, stuffing and they're so small that we had to use like a pastry bag. It was hilarious. But here is the finished dish. Ding! really cute we did these like thin french fries and we did a frise salad and it's stuffed with just like um what's in there sausage um some some rice like a rice pilaf and then some really small cut up um carrots and uh zucchini so really fun little dish and that's what we had for lunch which was really funny it was definitely like one of those adventurous eating moments but it was quite tasty it's very small like the little legs are just really cute to eat um super funny really interesting dish but this is what's so cool about cooking school is you're there and you just like all of a sudden try things you've never tried before and would ne i mean i would never order quail ever but it was good, and like if somebody served it at a dinner party, I'd be into it. Like it's totally good. Um, I think I could make it. I would make it for a dinner party someday because it's cute and different. I love different things. Don't we get bored with the same thing all the time? Oh, yeah. Chicken breast, whatever. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not getting sick, but seriously, air conditioning just makes me crazy, and it's so hot. Why do you think I'm in tank tops? Like for every episode, it's so hot out right now. We're getting like major. Um, New York heat wave. Anyway, then we did duck and I've made duck before. It's very specific, but the big thing that I learned about duck um, and just really this type of bird in general, ducks, turkeys, um, birds that have just like a breast and a thigh that just cook completely differently um, as far as like how much time they need and the temperature they need to be. And so the cooking technique that we worked with was just separating the legs and thighs from the actual breast and cooking them separately. So we roasted the um, legs and thighs and then we sort of sauteed the chicken breast, sorry, chicken, hello, the duck breast. And it turned out incredible because everything was right as far as the texture and the timing and the flavor and nothing was overdone and you weren't sort of like freaking out. And it, I thought that it came together really well. So here's the plate, ding. I love my little like ding moment. And I love how chic this is. It's just very ta-da, this plate. You know, it's got like the little chicken leg. Sorry, I keep saying chicken, it is duck. Sorry, it's like I've been working so hard. I'm like chicken was yesterday. We did duck today, but then I also went to a um, butchery class where we did chicken. So chicken is on the brain. Anyway, this plate was really fun. We created this beautiful orange sauce, which is very, very classic. This dish is actually called Canard Roti L'Orange. Um, people are saying that they are liking me talking in French, which totally cracks me up because I'm not that great at it, but I try. My tip for you is really, if you have something that you're working with and like it's a light meat or a dark meat or a breast or a thigh or whatever it is, and they just completely cook different ways at different times, just separate them. Like, let's try to not keep reinventing the wheel. Like, just make it easy on yourself and present it in a really beautiful way. Like, this plate looks so pretty and all these things were cooked separately the way that they should be just to make it easy and efficient and also just taste great. So, I don't think I'm gonna get so wrapped up on trying to keep everything together at the end of the day when if you played it really well, it'll be gorgeous and people will love the flavor even more. So that's my tip. I hope you all are enjoying this episode and tomorrow we are doing beef, so stay tuned. Please leave me some comments because I'm always reading them and responding and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.
there goes my background. I'm totally keeping this in.